What's going on guys? Jade here. I am tired. <laughs> I got back from Anime Week in Atlanta literally less than 24 hours ago. My voice is still shot from uh, this. Yeah. That's right, Teddy Lloyd was at In Week in Atlanta this year. The dude who did Me, Me, Me and the opening to Penny and Stocking. It was, uh, mm. I could talk for hours about AWA, but that's not why we're here today. We are here to talk about everybody's favorite part of every convention, the dealer's room, and specifically what you get from the dealer's room. And this year, that was quite a lot for me and we're gonna talk about all of it, where it came from in this video. This is the AWA haul video. Let's get started. So I'm gonna try to give where I got each of these items from when I show them to you. Some of them I wasn't able to get a card or some of them I just downright lost them or forgot, but I'm gonna try to tell you where you can get each and every one of these items as I show them to you, starting with my personal favorites. Let me throw it over here, let me just grab them really quickly. So this is, I think, my new favorite article of clothing ever. This sweater by Quinoa Monster, this incredibly adorable, like, sports mug, this is basketball boy. It's got all this soda in it. The color palette is so cute. This is just, it's just way too incredibly cute. And it's on this super duper soft sweater. This is just like a really, really nice sweater. I am, I am absolutely in love with this, dude. I am in love with this. This may, like this almost replaces my pretty boy sweater as my favorite sweater. So we'll have to see what comes in the future. But this is by Quinoa Monster. Please go check them out, buy their stuff. They make incredible clothes, dude. And on that same note, I got another thing from them. Let's check that out really quickly. <laughs> Look at this hat, dude! Oh my goodness gracious! I, I'm screaming. Look, I'm actually crying about this hat, dude. It, it's like this three to and then the patch is so cute. It's got the little shooting stars all over it. I, I see a lot of like kawaii apparel at cons, but this and the sweater I just showed you like really do take the cake. You you need to check Kimo Monster out. I'll put their link in the description. Check them out. Please get their stuff. I'm gonna put this hat on for the rest of the... And moving on from Quinoa Monsters, I picked up some stuff for one of my favorite kawaii fashion artists, Apari. I already had one of her sweaters and I've worn it in a couple of TV head shoots if you want to check out here, maybe here. But this time around, I got some accessories, including this incredibly adorable sticker, which I intend to absolutely put on my car as soon as possible, and this lanyard, this like actually super duper cute lanyard. I've been meaning to get a lanyard for my keys because I keep forgetting because I keep forgetting them everywhere. I'm a better way than with a party. Let's actually let's put that on my keys right now. Give me, give me like half a second. Put that right there. And then there we go! And Apari Lanyard, we're out here, dude. But in the same vein as Kima Monsters, please check out Apari. Her art is incredible. She has so many incredible sweaters, incredible prints. Go and check it out, dude. And while we're talking about prints, I actually only bought one at this convention, but it's a pretty adorable one. Let's check it out. And boom, look at this print, dude! Oh, it's so adorable! It's sort of like a Paso Gore type thing. I'll put a warning up before the show so you'll know. But yeah, look at you, look at you, look at you, look at you, look at the art style, so cute, man, the, the teeth. For those of you who don't know, I adore pastel gore. I already have a pastel gore print on my wall, but this is gonna complement perfectly with it, and it's, oh, it's, I just, I just love this, I love this so much. This print is done by Ibbles Scribbles. I'll put a link to their shop in the description down below. Go check them out. They have tons of really, really adorable prints. Go and make sure you give them lots of love. And there's actually a couple of other prints in the back of this, whose artist name I don't remember, but we'll take a look at them anyway. They're little tiny prints and they're super duper cute. We have this girl in her bedroom. Look at how cute this is. Look at how cute the bedroom is. And it's just what it says. Oh, she is octopus. 
uh, palette's really cute. This is just a really good one. I wish I remember the artist, but I don't, sadly. If you know who it is, leave a comment down below. That'll apply for every single artist I feature here whose name I don't know. Let people know so I can give them the love they deserve. From the same artist, I got two matching prints from me and a friend. It's like the yellow color palette and the blue one. They're both super duper cute. Like this back alley of a Japanese town type deal. Super duper adorable. Really, really happy with these. <sighs> okay. I know that I said the Quinoa Monsters sweater might be my new favorite piece of fashion, but I might have lied because... <laughs> Look at this! Look at this. Oh my god, dude! This... <laughs> you, you, okay, you know. TV heads, my thing, I love them. And then this is like, this is like a nylon sweater, like my favorite style of sweater. And the art style is so cute. And the color palette, like it matches perfect. It matches literally perfectly with the hat. Like, I mean, 100% perfectly with the hat. Are you kidding me, dude? It's, this is just really, really good. Oh. Okay, I'm, I'm really, really excited about this one, but I'm more excited for you to check out the artist who is Firefly Ray on Instagram and that cute crap on Etsy. Put links to both in the description. Please check them out. Their art's so cute and look at, look at Okay, uh, you're gonna see me in this in a lot of videos in the future. Trust me on that. Do not be fooled. This is going to be like my main outfit. Very, like this, this and this, main outfits. Trust me. And talking about cute apparel, let me show you some of the yummy, kawaii stuff that I got while I was there. If you've been following me on Instagram, you know that I'm really, really big into the yummy, kawaii, yume kawaii aesthetic. And I finally got a syringe necklace, a sort of like decor k minharachan maybe? Might be more official. Like syringe necklace, it's so cute! And it has like the pink resin on the inside and the charm down here. It has a heart on the top of the syringe. Yeah, it's just super duper cute. Unfortunately, I also don't remember the name of the artist, but if you know them, please let me know down below once again. I'm really excited to wear this out in public and see what like all of, like the southern people that I live around think about this, because I'm sure this is going to get some reactions that may not be positive, quite honestly. And I also got some resin jewelry from a similar artist, this really cute resin moon and this really super duper cute resin pill that says, love, 10 milligrams on it. It's super duper incredibly adorable, dude. And I definitely intend on wearing these too. These are a little bit more subtle, maybe not the pill, but I'm really, really excited about these as well. Now let's talk stickers. I showed you one earlier from Apari, but that is, <laughs> that's just a little of the stickers that I got. Let me let me go grab them really quickly. This is a bag of sticker goodies. A really awesome bag of all kinds of sticker goodies. Let me let's just reach in here and see what we can find. So I picked up a decent few stickers from this group called Senpai Squad. And if you don't know who Senpai Squad is, do you know those cars that you see at every convention that are like anime themed? They have like anime wraps and everything. Well, Senpai Squad is sort of this collective of those. They're called Itasha. And I picked up some of their stickers and they're so cute like kawaii af i'm super excited to have this on my car as well as the official senpai squad logo that is definitely going on my car as well oh and then this one from them as well the nezuko my car is slow i'm really excited about this one dude i'm really really excited about this one these might go on my car tonight we'll have to see they're really high quality like vinyl print stickers too like senpai squad you're you're doing good out there, dude, let me tell you. And these are a couple of like, similar themed ones, but not from Senpai Squad. This Midnight sticker, look, Mido Naito. And then this is a Tengoku Drift sticker, which are both going on the car as well. Holding that one backwards, good on me. And then last, but certainly not least, we have Toga, Toga with a waifu shirt on, dude. I'm really excited about this one. This one also going in a strategic location on the car. Really, really excited about all those stickers, dude. Oh my goodness gracious. And then moving on to more super duper cute stuff, I got this pencil case from an artist I also don't remember, sadly. Please let me know if you know who it is. Please, I want to know so badly. Look at it. On this side, it has, oh, she's focused on her game. But this side, oh. Smug, winking, the art is so cute. The palette is so cute, dude. I, I love this one so much. But on the inside, we have something else super duper special. These mm, syringe pins, dude. These are actual pins that like you take, oh, let me show you. Take it off. Bam, it's a pin that you can write with. I used these in class today, in my Japanese class actually, and they got some looks. Once again, I bet people who don't know the aesthetic, which why would they? To them, they're just like, this weirdo is using like syringe pins. Why is that happening? But yes, yeah, super duper cute, adding to the Yami Kawaii aesthetic. 
One day I'll be completely Yami Kawaii. I hope I can achieve that. Whenever I dye my hair lavender, whenever that is, we'll have we'll have achieved the peak, dude. That's a promise. <laughs> this next one is not necessarily from any artist or anything. It's just a Japanese resell. But this is an Osomatsu-san, specifically Choramatsu, themed notebook that has this little hoodie. Look at it, it's like the little actual functioning hoodie and everything. The little But, but wait, are you ready? I don't know if you're ready for this next part. Are, are you ready? There's a mirror on the inside. <laughs> There's like a legit mirror. And like, look, look, it like, it like props itself up too. Like you can like prop it up and, and like, I guess do your hair or something. Like, I, I don't know. It's just like, a, it's just like a, just like a legit like mirror notebook, dude. It's incredible. Oh my goodness gracious. Definitely one of my most prized possessions. Even though not many people like Choromatsu, which is strange, he's baby. I'm really, really excited about this one. And then lastly, but certainly not least, it wouldn't be a convention if I didn't impulse purchase some buttons. So here we have a few of my new cute buttons. We have my pronouns. Uh, we have my pronouns, actually, which I'm really excited about. Gonna be wearing this around. I wore around a lot at AWA with my TV on, so people couldn't tell what my pronouns were, and this gave them the answer. And then also this really cute ghost, which I'm really, really excited about. Sort of like a Porter Robinson aesthetic. And then lastly, what I want all of you to do, which is stay cute. These are all done by StarlightCrownDesign.com. Go and check them out. Their designs are super cute and really high quality buttons, too. Very surprising for conventions. Most buttons are not this high quality, but that about does it for my Anime Weekend Atlanta 2019 haul. I'm really, really excited about all of this, and I'm really, really excited for Yamakon coming up in December. Keep an eye out for a really special video coming from that. And in general, there's a lot of really cool videos coming up in the future. But I want to know what cool stuff you guys have gotten from cons recently. Let me know in the comments down below. I'm always super stoked to hear from you. Hear what you're doing out there in the world. But above all else, be safe. Make good choices, have a wonderful day, and peace out. <laughs> I'm gonna put stickers on my car, dude.